What is going on guys? Sid here with the first installment of Winter Spookies, which is essentially a part of Spooky Season Specials. And of course, guys, it's the season right after Spooky Season, so you can't really title it Spooky Season Specials. You can't really title it Spooky Warm-Ups or anything like that. So what we are going to title the Spooky-esque games that we play on this channel, we're, we're pretty much going to title it Winter Spookies, which kind of makes sense. It has a nice ring to it, too. I think it does, right? So in any case, guys, we are playing Crypt of the Necrodancer. And guys, this is a fan favorite on the channel. It's just a fan favorite game. Game. It's a cult classic. It's one of the best mini games ever made, developed, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinions, right? And if you are a musically astute person, this game, you already understand. This game just hits it out of the ballpark. Really, really just keeps you guessing, right? There's a lot of novelties in this game, right? And that's the biggest draws to the game. One of the biggest draws to the game, right? The novelty factor, right? It's like one of the best two games that that's ever been made, right? And um, in my opinion, yeah, it's, it's up there with all of the other cult classic uh, 2 games, right? The retro community uh, really loves this game. All the community really loves this game, right? And, and it's just, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that, you know, um, it, 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 it's not from the time period, but it feels like it could have been, right? But it, it, and it probably would have like uh, made it on the cover of every magazine had it been. You know, like, uh, had, had 2D gaming been, like, the primary, um, gaming, gaming style, right? Like, right now, we're all on 3D gaming and high, high def, ultra high def 3D gaming and all that good stuff, right? But every now and again, you want to take it back and, uh, you want to, you know, if you grew up in, like, the 80s or the 90s or any, any of the eras before they like, kind of really took off. Necrodancer is like one of those games that you want to touch base with, right? Touch base with. Yeah, uh, because it's 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 just it's just absolutely epic, right? It's the, it, it, it does everything that a 2D game should and could, right? And uh, really does take you back, right? Even though it wasn't wasn't it wasn't developed anywhere, you know, like it was developed in the 2000s, right? Um, <laughs> late 2000s, uh, actually, right? So um, the game. The game is, is so rhythmically based, right? It's, um, and the soundtrack's really cool, right? I really want a sequel to this game, right? And uh, today we're just tackling Zone One. I wanted to like chew off more, like I want, like when, when, like every, you have to like relearn the game, right? You have to relearn the mechanics, um, how to move correctly. You have to learn your, e learn the, learn the little mini enemies, right? The mini bosses. Right? You have to learn every one. You have to time the patterns down correctly, right? Otherwise, you're just gonna screw yourself up, right? And the main thing about Crypto the Negrodancer is that more often times than not, because it is such a novel game that you, you spawn in random areas on the map, you have an insane variety of weapons to choose from, uh, not to choose from, that the, the, that you could possibly pick up, actually, right? Um, it, 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 it makes a game really difficult and unpredictable and it gives it a lot of replay value right so that's one of the things that's one of the main draws of the necro dancer it's 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 the randomization of weapons and enemies and where you spawn right and items that you pick up on on in the map Right and uh, yeah, we've we've played Crypt of the Necrodancer before many times. I've actually did a no hit run in two of the zones. Right, the, the, doing so, doing no hit no hit runs in zones three and four, um, it's almost virtually impossible. Right, you have to do it like, right? like you have to like take like a hundred different tries right before you even get close to it. Right, but the, one of the main like strategies in Crypt of the Necrodancer is getting a, a ranged weapon. Right, uh, one that gives you some distance between you and the enemy and without that distance right um you kind of you kind of end up in no man's land the proverbial no man's land pretty quickly and it's it's, it's one of the things that sucks but guys if you've been paying attention right we picked up the arrow right we picked up the bow and arrow which made my life so simple right obviously it took down my health but a lot of goodies along the way right and i even have that uh I even have that piece of ham, right? Which which gives me back my health, right? We're on full health facing the boss or zone 
want already. How cool is that, right? And um, I, I, right at the beginning, I would have actually cleared this zone uh, faster, but I was looking for like the remote control because I had the TV set in two rounds, right? It's, it's a musically ba music based game, right? So uh, <laughs> the music was way too loud, right? But King Kong is right there and he was trying to do whatever he could, but because we, we got the bow and arrow, we got so lucky with the bow and arrow. Guys, we cleared that Dad level, we cleared that zone like on no one's business, right? Obviously, the game gets progressively harder, right? And found the enemies, it. Great the enemies are so cool, by the way, right? They they really do, when I was they, older, they I really do no fit in, into that, 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 um, Direction. E for everyone, spooky vibe kind of deal, right? It's not too me. scary, not too anything, right? It's just more festive years. space, right? It. But um, for spooky, for spooky season specials, this game's perfect. But we are playing it for winter spookies, right? During the holidays, during the cold months, right? Um, so guys, that'll be the video for now. Peace, love, all the blessings to you and yours. It's the break from the monotony of the FIFA 23 cycle. Yeah.